Okay, so today's gonna be the first episode of the Beginner's Guide series, and the whole point of this uh, series is to basically explain things a lot better, uh, both to new players and also returning players, because I had a couple of returning players ask me if I could please do a series uh, for them, because they're trying to learn everything, and uh, you know, the game is a lot more complex now than what it was back in 2014. So um, we're gonna be taking a look at currencies today, um, we have a lot of currencies compared to you know what we had in 2014 back then we only had um silver gold and eventually we had workshop points which i'm going to get into as well so um, i think the first thing we're going to take a look at here is the silver okay so the first currency we're going to take a look at here is the silver okay so you can see we have silver here what do you use silver for in this game uh, mostly for purchasing like cheaper robots and weapons so for example, if you go to the store, you can see some robots are silver, some are gold, some are components. The uh, cheaper ones are obviously silver. I wouldn't spend too much resources leveling up these robots though, because eventually you're gonna move to your components. So we have silver robots, we have silver weapons. And once again, don't spend too much on these weapons uh, because at some point you are going to transition to stronger weapons. And you are also going to use your silver to upgrade, uh, you know, robots, weapons, and also modules. Okay, so for example, we had a cheap module here. Uh, if we have one of these, you can use your silver to upgrade. Now, to speed things up, it does cost gold. I would also caution you on using that kind of approach because you can burn through a lot of gold uh, unnecessarily. Um, better to watch ads or to, you know, just let it roll. Uh, because otherwise you are going to burn through a lot of gold <laughs> which you actually need i'm going to talk about that as well but uh yeah in general you need your silver for uh, if you're a new player purchasing like the cheaper robots and weapons you need it for upgrading really important um your robots your weapons and also your modules okay so the next currency we're going to take a look at here is gold now there's a couple of tips which I want to mention first before we get into all the uses uh, for this gold. Now if you are a new player or even returning player, try to open up all your hangar slots. So make sure that you can deploy uh, 5 robots, uh, save your gold so that you can open up those slots because um, I know a lot of players tell me well they have 4 robots, um, they can do perfectly fine with it but what they don't realize is that with 5 robots you can do more damage get more kills capture more beacons and you know as a result you get more honor points if you have more honor points you get more silver which means you can upgrade at a faster rate um, it's not only that um, you know when you go back to like uh, the toss here you can see it's all based on honor points uh, you know sometimes even getting like damage or kills um, allows you to get uh, these event coins quicker okay so really important that you uh, open up all those hangar slots also another tip uh, when it comes to the hangar decks so you can see we have um, five here I wouldn't open up more until your first hangar deck is maxed out okay so that's a bit of a tip it should save you a lot of gold um, you know by doing that and uh, you know what other uses uh, do we have with this gold so one thing you can do is purchase robots and weapons in the store for gold so you can see like the Gepard, the Bolt, Regatka, Stalker Carnage, Rhino, there's a couple of others. Um, I wouldn't purchase it myself uh, because the component robots are a lot stronger, uh, faster, they have better abilities, uh, better to save your gold uh, for those robots. Um, but I'm just showing you what's available in the store. Okay, so we've got like the Trident, um, let's see, Trebuchet, Zeus, Ansel, these are all gold weapons or shields. And uh, we also have, uh, you know, the premium modules, which you can get for gold as well. So a couple of them. And uh, you will also be using your gold for things like pilots. Okay, so uh, if you have like a robot and you are looking for like a pilot, uh, always try to go for the legendary pilot. So for example, if you had a leech, uh, you want to go for this pilot, uh, not like the basic one, even though it might be cheaper because the legendary uh, has a specific skill for that robot okay so if you have a leech you can see when you use your ability you get increased speed with the thomas mind read 
So always try to go for legendary pilots that are specific to your robot because you get like additional, um, you know, special boosts for that robot. Uh, so a lot better to take uh, that part. Also, um, you know, if you are upgrading like skills and stuff, try to do that during pilot events because it's a lot cheaper. Um, you know, leveling these up, uh, you know, trying to uh, get the skills, all of that costs gold. And there's one more thing. Actually, there's a couple of things here too. So if you are boosting up, um, you know, this costs gold. Although what I typically do, like especially for like resources, like keys, and this is more specific to iOS and Android, but every day I usually watch ads to get the free, uh, you know, boosters. So I'm trying to go to the end here because usually it's right at the end. And you can see here. Okay, so like key boosters, damage boosters, speed boosters. If you watch the ad, you're going to get uh, 30 minutes of that. So yeah, that's pretty much what I do. You can see there's also other currencies. In this case, uh, we have event uh, coins or tokens and uh, let's see also uh, drones okay so you're going to be using your gold for things like drones the uh, more expensive drones are gold so if you're going for a cheaper drone i would uh, go for the discus this is probably the best all-rounder in terms of the expensive ones though the nebula is the one to get uh, right now so this one's really good for defense and you know all of these chips these are all gold and i think i'm gonna do like a separate video in the series covering uh you know drones how to build your chips so that you don't waste your gold uh for that so that's going to be coming up in a future uh, video uh, for the series and um, i think that pretty much covers everything in terms of gold i hope i'm not missing anything because you know when you play the game for a while you tend to kind of um, you know, just do these things. <laughs> you don't think about it. So I think that is uh, pretty much everything I wanted to cover for the gold. We're going to take a look next at the uh, platinum. So the next currency we have here is platinum. So think of platinum as anything tied to titans. Okay, so whether you are purchasing a titan in the store, this all costs platinum. Whether you are getting like weapons for your titan. Okay, all of these are all platinum. Uh, also modules you can see it's all platinum and of course uh, leveling it up okay so one thing i like about uh you know titans is when you level it up it's done instantly that's one difference between like your titan and like your regular robot i'm trying to find a weapon here uh, which i can use to upgrade so you can see how it's done uh instantly okay so Obviously, this is a lot better than like your regular robots because you have to wait. Otherwise, if you don't want to wait, you have to use gold to rush it. Uh, this one is, I guess, in a way uh, cheaper to upgrade uh, in that sense. But platinum is also the rarest, uh, you know, of the currencies, which means it's more expensive. Now, you know, where can you get platinum? You can get it in the uh, black market uh, currently, the bronze. Now, obviously, this requires luck. But at least we have, um, you know, one way to get uh, platinum. So you can get it in the bronze. I don't think there's any in the silver. Um, there might be uh, in the gold chest. Yeah, there's none there. What about here? So I think we might have 100 platinum, but it's really hard to get this. Um, I think it's better off, uh, you know, trying to get it in the bronze so yeah we have that and you know when you are upgrading your uh, titan just a bit of a tip here uh, do the upgrades during the titan upgrade event because it's a lot cheaper uh, doing it that way okay so the next currency we're going to take a look at here are event tokens and you can find it in the special delivery crates so we have three different uh, currencies here you can see we've got a bronze silver and gold and you know these are gonna look different depending on the events like if it's like halloween for example it might be like a pumpkin you know it's gonna look slightly different but uh basically you're gonna have three different crates okay so you have that and you know where can you get those tokens um sometimes in the offers I'm not sure if i have any here but basically if you watch like an ad uh, you can get some tokens i don't see any here Usually it's right at the end. Um, I think this is more specific to iOS and Android. Not sure about the other platforms. Also, you know, during events when you get a certain amount of honor points, 
you can get your uh, coins here okay and also in operations so there is a pay track i believe uh, e which has these but sometimes we can even get it uh, for free like you can see uh, operation d so we can pick up a couple of coins here and if we go back you can see it was added uh, to this okay so that's pretty much uh you know the event tokens uh, next up, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, black market. Okay, so the next currency in this game are the black market keys. And you can only use these black market keys in the black market. You can see we have 73 keys here. And, um, you know, the color of these keys also change depending on the season. We have the bronze, silver and gold crates. Uh, obviously different values. Um, you know, my advice or at least my tip to uh, newer players and also returning players try to save up a thousand keys to open up this crate because the prizes in this crate you have uh, other than pilots you have um, you know titan weapons you have titan modules gold um, i believe there's even well we have silver here i know some players complain about this prize but you know in all honesty on my baby account a lot of my weapons and stuff that got upgraded uh, was because i won the silver uh, prize but you can win like last stands you know titan anti-control uh you know keys platinum they also have like gold and power cells so definitely try to go for uh this crate and i know some players are gonna say you know it takes a while um it does but there are ways to get uh you know keys quicker so i'm gonna show that right now um you can get uh, key boosters i believe in the battle rewards crates so I think I saw like key boosters here. They have silver boosters as well. Uh, speaking of which, uh, you know, in the offers, sometimes we have uh, key boosters here. Not sure if they have any showing uh, at the moment. Uh, usually it's right at the end. But if you watch an ad, uh, you can get uh, key boosters. Uh, this is more specific to iOS and Android. I'm not sure about the other platforms. Sometimes you get keys here too. So you can get a couple of keys here and keys you get, uh, you know, after each game, you know, you uh, get a certain amount of keys depending on where you place. And another thing in order to boost your, um, you know, keys after each game, you have the key boosters. So you can see I have a lot of key boosters, but because I'm playing, you know, on this account or at least showing you this stuff, I don't really uh, need uh, these boosters here because this is an account that belongs to Pixonic. So I'm just using this account to kind of showcase uh, certain elements of the game. So we have that uh, also. Sometimes you can find it in operations. So you can see here some of the uh, free ones. So if I collect this, um, we have a couple of keys here. You can see also platinum. And that's without purchasing the operations, okay? Because you can see we don't have it purchased in any of these. Power cells here, keys as well. Just kind of showing you where you can get your keys from and uh, yeah just try to save up uh, those keys save up to get a thousand and then open it up in fact do we even have enough here uh, we have 553 no we don't have enough for the thousand but just kind of showing you and uh, you know this way you can get uh, some of the more premium stuff for free uh, in this game so the next currency we're going to take a look at are the mothership components Okay, so next up we have the Mothership Components. We're going to take a look at that by going to Workshop. The bottom right corner of your screen, there is a puzzle piece icon. Click on that. Click on the Mothership's tab. And you're going to notice we have Mantis, Monarch, and Dreadnought Components. Now, the way that this works is interesting because you have like, or well, in this case, 200,000 components to Mantis. I can't use these 200,000 components to level up the Monarch. It's very specific to the Mantis. So for example, we have 193,080 components to Monarch. To illustrate my point, we're going to take a look at uh, the motherships here. So here's the Monarch. When we upgrade it, you can see the components uh, to this mothership. Okay, so that's how it works, um, at least for now. Um, this is just to demonstrate. And yeah, we're going to take a look at the next currency uh, which is going to be the power cells so power cells you can see if you click on any robot in your hangar the top right corner of your screen 
and you use your power cells whenever you use your active modules so in this case we have advanced repair um, there's also repair unit uh, death mark lockdown ammo phase shift quantum radar shield breaker and jump unit and also some of these are different uh, costs okay so this is like 30 power cells that is 20 we have uh, phase shift which is 40 death mark 40 advanced repair is 40. And there is another place you can actually see your power cells as well, uh, which is in game. So we're going to do that right now. So let's just go to uh, domination, Shenzhen. It doesn't really matter which uh, battle mode or uh, map. But uh, when I drop into uh, this game, when the game starts, the top right corner is going to show how many power cells I have. and it should show up top right corner so there we go okay so we're going to drop into a game here using the following lineup so we have the arachi mender revenant favnia siren and also the luchador i have started with the arachi first we have a lot of players moving to this uh, left side here um i am not sure if i'm going to be able to get this beacon i have uh, multiple players here maybe i can take out this guy oh hold on there we go take out that player first because that guy is a big threat to me take out another tank if i can there we go and can i get this guy oh Let's try to get him down to that last stand i'm gonna use my ability now use the heal not sure if this is gonna be enough let's see no Oh man, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. Okay, we have a couple of players. What is this guy in? There's a player here. I'm not sure what this player is in. Is that like a scorpion or something? It might be. He's trying to get close. What is that? Okay, I wasn't sure what that player was in. So let's try to target this guy. A lot of players on that right side. Let's try to take this guy out if I can. Oh! <laughs> I'm trying to use my ability. Okay, um, let's use the Mender. Yeah, there's a lot of guys moving in on this right flank. I'm not sure what these guys are in either. What is this guy in? That looks like a hawk. Okay, so we have um, we have a revenant here. This guy might be a bit of a problem. Uh oh. I should have put like toxin weapons on this uh, build. Oh, he got stuck. Yes. <laughs> Did we kill him? <laughs> nice. Uh oh, the left side guys, left side! I gotta move this way. Wait a minute, we only have one beacon. What the heck? Come on, come on, come on! No! Oh, we gotta kill this guy! No! Oh man, he went into phase shift. He's gonna drop in over here. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> I just got EMP'd too. Yeah, I definitely wish I had, like, toxin weapons on here. Because now we have to deal with, like, titans, too. Jeez, I can't even use my heal. I got EMP'd. Oh, man! Okay, we need to, uh, we need to turn this around quickly here. Why is this guy in the middle of Shenzhen map? Um, okay, we're gonna go into a flight. Hold on. Try to put the snowstorm down. Give them a bit of the uh, Canadian winter, as I say. I'm going to move over to uh, this side. We take out this guy. There we go. Someone's going to drop in here. Take out that player. Okay, so we have, their, we have their home beacon. This is good. That is bad. <laughs> Holy crap. I might be able to get this uh, Miramits here. So we're going to do that. Um, 
This might be able to finish him off, actually. Let's do that. There we go. I use my ability again because I have the uh, Death Survivor skill on here. So when I get to like 50%, it triggers and I can use my ability again. I can take out this guy. Come on, heal. Oh man, someone just dropped in with a Nodens. Oh! You know what? Let's actually go straight for them here. Because they have a node and they have a lot of other stuff back here. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Trying to put some uh, pressure on their home beacon here because... Yeah, there's someone behind me. If I do this, maybe my teammates... Holy shoot, Big Bird! No! <laughs> Can we take him out? Let's do that. There we go. Oh man, an Arthur! Uh-oh. 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 I don't know if I can hold on to that. Um, let's use the Favnir next. I can use this guy to charge up my nuclear amps. Let's just do that. Hopefully they all keep firing like there's no tomorrow. Try to take out this guy here. I'm gonna put a shield down. So I have that. Let's try to take out that guy. And we can take out that Arthur there. There we go. This Revenant. There's a guy behind me here. What is this guy in? Take out this guy. And this one here. They're gonna drop in over here, I think. Now that might be it. They have three players left. Let's take out their Titan. Let's go for this guy here. There we go. And this one here. Oh my gosh! This guy's he's flying around. Let's try to move this way. Use the heal. This is gonna kill him. Oh my gosh, look at his health. Let's just put the uh, the shield down here. Get some healing. Steal it! Living legend. Does he have another one? Maybe. He does. Oh, come on. <laughs> so anyways, a very exciting game there. And we're going to take a look at the score towards the end. Because you can see we get uh, the silver, the keys, and also uh, gold. So 10.3 uh, million, 18 kills, 3 beacons in that game. And you can see we have... Um, so we have the gold, we have the keys, and also silver. So hopefully you guys were able to understand, you know, the simple guide in terms of the different currencies in the game. And, you know, I plan on doing this for like robots, for weapons, uh, modules, uh, drones, drone ships. And, you know, all of that's going to be coming in a future uh, episode for this series. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.